Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to Cypress Automation Tool Beginners Tutorial. So as you all know, I have published my first lesson on Cypress explaining what is the uniqueness of our Cypress Automation Tool. And I have also introduced you to the Cypress Automation Concepts. So this is our lesson 2 where I am going to explain you how can we set up Cypress environment and then what are all the prerequisites for setting up the Cypress environment and what are all the different features that are available in Cypress automation tool. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay. First, let me explain what are all the features that are available in Cypress Automation Tool. So, the main feature in Cypress Automation Tool is a command log and app review. Okay. So, in Cypress Automation Tool, so when you write a script or when you automate any test case, for every command, in the command log, a time travel takes screenshots as you run tests. That means if you screen, if you see on the screen on right side, you have a different commands, right? In the test where you are clicking on the button and then you are getting some, you are typing on the edit box, right? So for every command on right side, you can see the, there is a screenshot. That means the time travel takes screenshots as you run tests. For each and every test step, it takes the screen screenshot. So that's the really useful feature available in Cypress. And the second feature is debugability. So basically, it is really the readable errors and stack traces are very much visible in Cypress. So when you run the tests, if you see on the screen, you can see for every command or for every step, if there is any error, it immediately throws an error for a corresponding command in the corresponding step. It throws an error and it gives you the descriptive error messages and stack traces. So that is another feature of Cypress. I'm going to explain you all these uh, practically while automating the test cases in the upcoming sessions. Okay. And the next feature is spec file search. That means if you, if you want to run a specific test case, and you can basically search the specific test case in the search bar. In the search bar, you can provide the test case name so that it retrieves the corresponding test case spec so that you can run the specific test case. Okay, so spec file search. That means you can search the file of your test by using search bar. Okay. The next one is automatic waiting. So Cypress has inbuilt automatic wait command and assertions before moving on. Basically, automatically the application or our Cypress waits for the command and assertions before moving on. So if, if you want to basically insert a hard coded wait, of course you can insert. But Cypress itself manages to wait for the next command until the page or the element is visible. Okay. And then the results are very consistent. Why? Because Cypress does not use Selenium or WebDriver to interact with the browser. It directly interacts with the browser. So the results are very consistent and it is really fast and it is reliable because it is not depending upon Selenium or WebDriver. 
and then it takes screenshots and videos for every step. And cross browser testing is possible locally or you can also perform cross browser testing remotely in any continuous integration tool. And now, how can we set up Cypress? So the prerequisites are, the prerequisites to set up Cypress, you should have Windows 7 or above the operating system if it is Windows. And if it is a Mac, you should have Mac operating system 10.9 or above, but 64 bit only. These are the prerequisites. Uh, how can I download Cypress? So there are two ways. You can download Cypress from Node.js or you can download Cypress directly from the Cypress website. But it is recommended to download the Cypress from the Node.js. And the Node.js version that you need to download is 10 or 12 above okay so how can we download node.js so let me explain how to download node.js okay so let's jump on to the system so now we are going to download the node.js which is a prerequisite for the cypress so this is this is my mission okay so before i install node.js i just want to show you the features whatever i explained you so you can basically refer cypress.io website to see what are all the features that are available in the cypress so it has entire information so whatever i explained you right command log app review spec search file search right spec file search and then it also has uh, uh, what is the debuggability and how can we basically analyze the test results in continuous integration right and if you have a uh, you also have a docs. So if you go to docs, it has entire documentation here. So get started, end-to-end -end testing, how can we perform end-to-end -end testing, right? Octa authentications. So basically it has entire documentation. Cypress has entire documentation. Documentation. How can you set up the tests? How can you write this test, running tests, and then debugging tests? So I'm gonna explain you how to set up the tests writing tests, running tests and debugging tests once we complete installation of our Cypress, okay? So now, how to download as a prerequisite, how can we download and install the Node.js, okay? So, I have already explained you how can you download and install the Node.js in my one of the previous videos, okay? One of the previous videos related to a Postman. Okay, so let me just redirect you to Postman videos. Okay, you can find my um, Node.js installation instructions in Postman Beginners Tutorial 11. Okay, so Beginners Tutorial 11, this is what, uh, where I explained you how to install and download the Node.js. Okay, however, let me show you on a high level, how can we install node.js you just need to type node.js download so as soon as you type you get this node.js download from node.js.org and here this is your window windows installer this is your mac installer this is your source code right you click on windows installer so immediately the node.js will be downloaded okay so i can see the node.js is already available in my downloads, right? So you just need to go to downloads and you need to click on node.js. See, this is my node.js.exe file. Click on this node.js.exe file and then follow the instructions. So before you install the node.js, how do you know whether the node.js is available in your system or not? All you need to do is go to command line and enter node-v so our node-version so this gives you the version of node.js if in case you already installed node.js 
and then you will get the version. If in case you don't install, then it will say it did not recognize the command node. Okay. And also to check if you have npm installed npm iphone v. So it's going to show the npm version. So as soon as you install the node.js, it automatically installs the npm also. Okay. So in case you did not install the command line says these commands are not recognized. Okay. So, so let's go back to our browser again. So once you click on this node.js, you just need to click on next and then you have to, because I have already installed node.js, it is asking me to repair or change. So for you, you just need to click on next and then it's going to show you the directory where the node.js files need to be installed. Okay, you can keep the directory default or you need not to change the directory and then just click on next and then click on install. Simple. So it might take a couple of minutes for you to install node.js and then go to command prompt and then enter these commands whatever I explained you. Right. Then you should it should display the version of your node.js installation. Okay. So it's pretty simple. Okay. And then in the next session, so for today's session, this is it. In the next session, we are going to install Cypress and also by using Node.js. So basically because we installed Node.js, either as I explained you, you can install Cypress from Node.js or from Cypress website directly. So in the next session, I'm going to show you how can you install Node.js, sorry, how can you install Cypress from Node.js and also we are going to install one IDE called Visual Studio Code so that we can write script to automate the test cases by using Cypress. Okay. Stay tuned. Please do subscribe to the channel. Click on bell icon. You'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. If you have any queries, please do provide your comments in the comment box. I'll try to reply to your queries. Thank you.